my JV squad. I want to start by talking about Prince Swafford Jr. first. Prince, man, you're a Team Nico's veteran, so you know the system, you know how it works, so it's fun to have you around, make life easier on a first-year coach. But hey, you're a good basketball player. You're shooting the heck out of the ball towards the end of the season. You got good court vision. Um, you got a good crafty handle to you, a good feel for the game. And uh, you're getting better at running the team, knowing when to slow it up and when to push it. So keep doing that, man. It was, it was a fun year. It was a fun year with you. You're a great player, and it's fun to have you. Uh, Aiden, Aiden, man, you're just a funny kid. <laughs> you're a good basketball player. You like to talk a little trash out there, but you also go hard all the time. And you're good. You're a great teammate, actually. You make the open pass. You don't. You don't try to do anything too fancy or force it. You're just a smart basketball player in the aspect that. You, uh, you hit the open guy, you shoot when you're open, you make smart reads, and uh, you're a great team player, so you had a great season for us. And uh, Josh Walker, man, your inside presence when you are there made life easier on all of us. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, hey, you're, you're a strong player down there. You hit a buzzer beater for us to win a big game for us in a tournament. That was a great highlight of your season, man. But hey, the way you rebound the ball, set screens, like you set some grown man screens. You're a good player down low in the post. And you made everyone's life easier because they could all play their natural positions when you were down there. So Josh, thank you for one heck of a year when you were with us. I uh, hope that knee gets healthy. And Nick Schwartz, hey, your best tournament was in Vegas. You were killing it out there. You were, getting, you were rebounding like a beast like I'd never seen before. And you were hitting floaters on the baseline, hitting your little short corner shots. And, and I knew no matter what, if we were down by 30, we were tied, or we were up by 30, you would always give 100% effort. You're always ready to go. So thank you for that, Nick. Bryce Edmonds, the way you played that last tournament at San Diego Canyon College, when you were attacking the basket, you were so aggressive, that's how you got to play all the time. You had a chip on your shoulder, like no one was going to stop you, and you were just getting to the cup play after play after play. Man, if you play like that all the time, you'll be scary. You'll be unstoppable because you're lengthy and you're athletic. And uh, once you play aggressive like that, man, it's over. You had a great season for us, too, man. You're Mr. Versatile for us. So great work this year, Bryce. Uh, Logan Dunwald. I hear Dennis Rodman is your favorite player, and it makes complete sense because you rebound the heck out of the basketball. I've never seen anybody crash a glass like you do. Like, you'll knock over... You'll knock over chairs, tables, you'll knock over old ladies trying to get to rebounds, whatever it takes, you know? And you just go all out and you sacrifice your body for the team. And if you knock something over, you just laugh about it because you got that lighthearted spirit, just a good kid, fun to be around. So uh, just the way you go hard all the time, you're actually my winner for most inspirational player of the year. So Logan, congrats to you for that. Um, I want to talk about Tristan Williams. Tristan, um, you've improved so much. You always had that three-point shot. But um, I think you grew more confident in being able to shoot those shots and know that whenever you're open, you can take them. And you shot the heck out of the ball for us this season. But underrated is your passing ability. You have a good court vision and a good solid feel for the game. And I, I know you're new to basketball, so your potential is through the roof because you have that feel for the game, you, natural, natural, uh, natural feel for the game. And... Um, you're long length, you were playing undersized too. You were playing out of position down low for us and you never complained about it. So uh, thank you. And just the way you began to score the ball towards the end of the, end of the year, uh, you improved a lot. So you're actually my winner for most improved player of the year. So congratulations to you. Brennan Campbell. Brennan, you did whatever I asked you to do all the time. You go hard. Your left hand drives were unstoppable. You didn't force it. When you're open, you shot. When the drive was there, you took the drive. You played smart basketball and you have a high IQ. Sometimes a football player comes out and you'll check somebody into the third row. But hey, you always made the right decision. And because you always wanted to guard the other team's best player and you didn't gamble, you played smart, solid defense, uh, you're actually my winner for Defensive Player of the Year. So congrats, Brennan. Stephen White, we all know about that jump shot. In three years, I want to read about you being the best shooter in all of California. Man, you shot the heck out of the ball. You're also one of our best rebounders because you were playing center for us sometimes, and you never complained about that. You were playing out of position, so thank you for that. You had a great year for us, and because of the way you can shoot the ball and score the ball, Steven, you're my Offensive Player of the Year, so congratulations to you. Lastly, Cameron Peloso. 
Got one of the dirtiest spin moves I've ever seen. Played good point guard for us. You got a good handle on the ball. In that last tournament, you really showed that you can run a team by passing and cutting and sewing it up and pushing it and doing whatever our team needed. So the way you played point guard for us and you led us in scoring most of the year, Cam, you're my team MVP. So congratulations to you. And hey, thank you to my Wendy Peloso and Kirsty Wagner, both my team managers, and Carol, and all the Team Nico's coaches. I love you guys.